stable multivibrator using bipolar junction transistor. A multivibrator is a circuit whose output switches between plus VCC and ground due to charging and discharging of capacitors. For a multivibrator, there may be one or two stable states. If there is no stable state, then that multivibrator is called as a stable multivibrator. If there is only one stable state and one quasi stable state, then it is called as a monostable multivibrator. This is the diagram of an unstable multivibrator. A stable multivibrator consists of two transistors Q1 and Q2. These transistors are connected in such a way that base of one transistor is connected to the collector of the other transistor through timing capacitors C1 and C2. In other words, a stable multivibrator is a pair of two cross coupled inverters. Initially, let transistor Q1 is on and Q2 is off. As transistor Q1 is on, its collector voltage is equal to 0 0.2 volt or ground. And as transistor Q2 is off, its collector voltage is equal to plus VCC. We can say that output voltage V01 is equal to ground and output voltage V02 is equal to plus VCC. Capacitor C1 charges towards plus VCC through resistor R1. With polarity of voltage across C1 as shown. So the voltage will be building in such a way that base of transistor Q2 is becoming more and more positive with respect to collector of transistor Q1 or with respect to ground. Capacitor C2 charges towards plus VCC through resistance RC2. For transistor Q1, base current flows through R2 and C2. Capacitor C1 continues to charge exponentially till Vc1 is equal to 0 0.5 volt. When Vc1 is equal to 0 0.5 volt, total voltage between base and emitter of transistor Q2 is equal to 0 0.5 plus 0 0.2 that is equal to 0 0.7. So if we apply KVL for this loop, which consists of transistor Q1, capacitor C1 and base emitter junction of transistor Q2, we will find that VBE2 is equal to VC1 plus VCE1. When VBE2 is equal to 0 0.7 volt, base emitter junction of transistor Q2 is forward biased and transistor Q2 is turned on. VCE2 falls to 0 0.2 volt as VC set of a non transistor is equal to 0 0.2 volt. As Q2 is on, VCE2 is equal to 0 0.2 volt. VBE1 is equal to minus VC2 plus 0 0.2 
that is VB1 is negative. So, base emitter junction of transistor Q1 is reverse biased. So, transistor Q1 is turned off. As transistor Q1 is turned off, its collector voltage becomes plus VCC and as transistor Q2 is in the on condition, its collector voltage is equal to 0 0.2 volt. Change of state in a stable multivibrator. When VC1 is equal to 0 0.5 volt, VPE2 becomes 0 0.7 and transistor Q2 is turned on. When transistor Q2 is turned on, its collector voltage falls from plus VCC to 0 0.2 volt. This change in collector potential changes the base emitter junction voltage of transistor Q1 from 0 0.7 to a negative value and transistor Q1 is turned off. In other words, voltage across capacitor C2 reverse biases the base emitter junction of transistor Q1. As Q1 is turned off, VCE1 is equal to plus VCC, so Q2 continues to be in the on condition. Q1 off and Q2 on. So, this is the new state of the stable multivibrate. So, this time capacitor C2 charges towards plus VCC through resistance R2. The polarity of voltage across the capacitance as shown, base of transistor Q1 is positive with respect to collector of transistor Q2. At the same time, capacitor C1 charges through resistance RC1 towards voltage plus VCC. For Q2, base current flows through R1 and RC1. Capacitor C2 charges till 0.5 volt. Whenever VC2 is equal to 0.5, VPE1 is equal to 0.5 plus 0.2, that is VPE1 is equal to 0.7 volt. As VPE1 is equal to 0.7 volt, transistor Q1 is turned on. As its base emitter junction is forward biased, VCE1 falls to 0 0.2 volt. Change in VCE1 from plus VCC to 0 0.2 leads to the reverse biasing of base emitter junction of transistor Q2 as VBE2 is equal to minus VC1 plus VCE1. So, transistor Q2 is turned off. As transistor Q2 is turned off, VCE2 rises from 0 0.2 volt to plus VCC and this positive spike keeps transistor Q1 on and collector voltage of transistor Q1 keeps transistor Q2 in the off condition. Change of state, transistor Q1 is turned on and transistor Q2 is in the off condition. So, abstract of operation of a stable multivibrator. When Q1 is on and Q2 is off, capacitor C1 charges through R1 capacitor C2 charges through RC2. When VC1 is equal to 0 0.5 volt, base emitter junction of transistor Q2 becomes forward biased and transistor Q2 is turned on. And voltage across capacitor C2 reverse bias 
basimeter junction of transistor Q1 and transistor Q1 is turned off. When Q1 is off and Q2 is on, capacitor C1 charges through resistance RC1 and capacitance C2 charges through resistance R2. Whenever Vc2 becomes 0 0.5, decimeter junction of Q1 becomes forward biased and Q1 is turned on and voltage across C1 reverse bias the base emitter junction of transistor Q2 and transistor Q2 is turned off. Thanks for watching.